Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I am continuing pie chart data interpretation. First of all, uh, we need to read the information carefully and then only we need to solve the problems. Here, if you observe carefully, in this uh, pie chart, total two pie charts are given. Two pie charts. First of all, what is the given information? Read the sentence carefully. Here, the entire fund that school gets from different sources is equal to 500 lakhs. Here, the information is about a uh, fund is getting uh, getting from uh, for, for the school from different uh, resources. From various resources, school is getting a uh, entire fund, and that particular entire fund amount is given as 500 lakhs. Entire fund amount is 500 lakhs, and uh, First pie chart is completely talking about uh, sources of funds in school. Here, from various sources, school is getting funds. What are those sources? One is donation, internal source, government agencies and NGOs. These are the four areas in which the school is getting funds. Whereas, coming to the second pie chart. Second pie chart is about uses of funds by school. Whatever the fund is getting from various uh, resources uh, and uh, that particular entire fund is used uh, by the school. Here if you observe first one reserved. This is for reserved 35 percentage, scholarship 15 percentage, payment is 30 percentage and school maintenance is uh, 20 percentage. This is uh, various uh, things uh, that the school is using the funds uh, from various resources. This is the complete information regarding two pie charts. First of all, you must read the entire information carefully. Unless and until you understand the information, it is not an easy task to solve the problems. If you understand the information, definitely problem solving is very simple. Problem solving is very simple once you understand the information or otherwise definitely it will be a difficult task. Once look at the questions one by one. See, this is the first question. Here the question is, uh, what is the difference between funds acquired by school from NGOs and the internal sources? Before solving this question, here uh, in the previous sessions, I already told you that entire pie chart is 100%. Percentage. Entire pie chart is 100%. Percentage. This 100 percentage value is given, which is 500 lakhs, which is 500 lakhs. It means one percentage value is 5 lakhs. One percentage is equal to 5 lakhs or else if you want 10 percentage, 10 percentage is equal to, sorry, 50 lakhs. 10 percentage is equal to 50 lakhs. Based on the question, you can take whatever the values you want, but 1 percentage is 5 lakhs and 10 percentage is 50 lakhs. Individually, this entire pie chart is 50, uh, 100 percentage and this entire pie chart is also 100 percentage. Here, the meaning of uh, first pie chart. In this 100 percentage, 35 percentage of the funds are acquiring from the donation and uh, 5 percentage from internal sources, 45 percentage from government agencies and 15 percentage from NGOs. And similarly, whatever the funds used by the school, that is also entire 100 percentage. Here, in both the pie charts, uh, total amount, uh, total fund is 500 lakhs. Total fund is 500 lakhs. That particular 500 lakhs, first pie chart is talking about uh, from where we are getting 500 lakhs. And the second pie chart is about uh, where you are using the 500 lakhs. Uh, in which areas? Uh, one is school maintenance, payment, scholarship and reserved candidates. Uh, so, all these are 100 percentage values. Okay. In this 100 percentage, 20 percentage uh, used for maintenance, uh, school maintenance, payment is 30 percentage, scholarship is 15 percentage and reserved candidates is uh, 35 percentage. Now, you can solve the problem now. What is the difference between the funds acquired by school 
from NGOs and internal sources. NGOs. NGOs is, if you observe carefully, that is 15 percentage. NGOs 15 percentage, whereas internal sources, internal sources 5 percentage. We need to calculate the difference between those two. We need to calculate difference between those two. Difference is 10 percentage. Just now I told that entire 100 percentage is 500 lakhs. Therefore, 1 percentage is 5 lakhs and 10 percentage is equal to 50 lakhs. 10 percentage is equal to how much? 50 lakhs. That is the difference between uh, those two values, NGOs and internal sources. 50 lakhs, that is option A. Yeah, that is the required answer. Let's move on to the second question. See here, if the school managed, if the school managed school maintenance from the government agencies, from the government agencies, whatever the amount is acquired by the school, See, suppose for example, government agency is 45 percentage. 45 percentage of 500 lakhs. What is that value? Two zeros, two zeros gets cancelled. And here it is 45 into 5, that is 225. 225 lakhs. 225 lakhs. This is the total amount acquired by the school from government agencies. And he is saying that School maintenance. What is school maintenance? 20 percentage. That particular school maintenance from government agencies fund only. Whatever the maintenance, that particular 20 percentage. What is 20 percentage of uh, 20 percentage of this entire 20 percentage is taken from Government agencies only, not from total all funds, various sources. He is taking only this particular maintenance completely from government agencies. He is not taking uh, uh, from NGOs, donation and internal sources. For maintenance purpose, uh, entire this 20 percentage is taking from government agencies and the government agencies amount is uh, 225 lakhs, right? Now you can calculate this value. See, 20 percentage, 20 by 100 into 225 lakhs. Here it is uh, 1 by 5 and this is uh, 4 times, 5 times, uh, 45 lakhs, uh, 45 lakhs. Uh, once look at that, uh, the question is, uh, how much fund from the government agencies would still be left uh, for other use? Uh, here, government agencies uh, total fund is government agencies total fund is 225 total fund 225 lakhs and the scholar uh, school maintenance what is uh, school maintenance school maintenance is 45 lakhs school maintenance is sorry not this one see this particular 20 percentage is taken from uh, total 500 lakhs uh, 500 lakhs, 20 percentage, which is equal to 25, sir, 100 lakhs. This particular entire 100 lakhs is taken from government agencies only. So, subtract 100 lakhs uh, from total 225. So, whatever the amount left over, which is 125 lakhs, 225 minus 100, that is 125 lakhs. This particular amount is left over after spending entire 100 lakhs uh, which is school maintenance uh, from only government agencies uh, if you observe the question how much fund from government agencies would still be left uh, for the other use other use in the sense uh, for reserved payment as well as uh, scholarship uh, for the remaining purposes uh, still how much amount is left over out of 225 lakhs uh, 100 lakhs of uh, school maintenance is completed and still left over with 125 lakhs. That is the answer. Option C is the right answer for this question. Option C. Next one. If scholarship has to be paid, if scholarship has to be paid out of donation fund, scholarship, scholarship where it is? Yeah, this is a scholarship that is completely taken from donation only. 
first calculate what is donation. 35 percentage of total amount is 500 lakhs. Here two zeros, two zeros cancel. 35 five sir. 150 plus 25. 175 lakhs. Donation is 175 lakhs. What about scholarship? Scholarship is, if you observe carefully, scholarship is 15 percentage. What is 15 percentage of 500 lakhs? Two zeros, two zeros cancel. 15 fives, 75 lakhs. 15 fives, 75 lakhs. Now the question what is asking is, uh, look at the question. What is the approximate percentage of donation fund used for this uh, purpose? How much percentage of donation fund? Donation fund is uh, how much? 175. For scholarship, how much amount is used? 75 lakhs. So, what he is asking is, this particular scholarship amount, 75 lakhs, is what percentage of uh, donation fund, which is 175 lakhs? So, 75 divided by 175 into 100 percentage. Whenever you are calculating the percentage, whenever you are calculating percentage into 100 percentage symbol, that is a common thing. Now you can cancel with uh, 25 table. 25 threes, 25 seven times. 3 by 7 into 100. So you can take it as 300 by 7, which is equal to here it is 4 times 28 and next uh, 20 means uh, 2 times point uh, and next uh, 68 times. Uh, here as you are calculating the approximate values, uh, don't calculate for exact value. Approximately here you are getting 42.8 something, right? So it is approximately equal to 43 percentage approximate percentage. Don't calculate for exact values. Always try to calculate for approximations. 42.8 which is nothing but 43. Option A is the right answer for this question. And uh, here one more thing is uh, as you are calculating scholarship is what percentage of donation. So directly you can take like this also. 15. Scholarship is 15 out of donation is 35. 15 by 35 into 100. Here also you will get the same result. Why? Because the reason is this particular 35 percentage and scholarship 15 percentage which is taken from total 500 lakhs. That is the reason why directly you can take in this manner also. Either you can calculate or else you can do directly without calculating the values. Without calculating the values also 15 by 35, 5, 3, sir, 5, 7, sir. 3 by 7 into 100. Here also you got 3 by 7 into 100 after calculation. You will get the answer in direct approach. Hardly it will take around 30 seconds to calculate the answer. Okay. Next one. What is the total amount used by the school for payment? Total amount, 30 percentage. Now you can calculate what is 30 percentage of the total amount. Total amount is how much? 500 lakhs. Total amount is 500 lakhs. Now here it is uh, two zeros, two zeros gets cancelled. 30 into 5. 30 into 5 which is equal to 150 lakhs. 30 into 5 which is equal to how much? 150 lakhs. 150 lakhs is the total amount paid, uh, total amount uh, for payment, total amount for payment is uh, 150 lakhs which is option C, option C is the right answer for this question. Let's see the next question, what amount of uh, fund, what amount of fund is acquired by the school from government agencies, from government agencies that is 45 percentage. From government agencies, uh, uh, 45 percentage of amount is getting. You need to calculate that value. That's it. Very simple. 45 percentage of what is the total amount given? Total amount is given as 500. What is 45 percentage of uh, 500? Two zeros, two zeros gets cancelled. 45 into 5, which is 225 lakhs. 225 lakhs. That is the total amount uh, 
acquired by the school from government agencies to 25 lakhs option d is the right answer guys in this uh, session uh, total two pie charts are given even though two pie charts are given the problems are very easy to solve why because uh, if you are understanding the given information carefully problem solving is very simple if you are not understanding the given information definitely it will be difficult to solve the problems but uh, once you look at each and every question each and every question is very easy to solve it is not a difficult task also okay so guys i hope you understand each and every problem in this session and uh, thank you thanks for watching